Hey guys, I was supposed to do this video <clears throat> yesterday, actually last night, but I fell asleep and I just woke up not too long ago, so I'm going to do this, this video um, for all, uh, even though it may be useless since I will be doing another one in four days, but I just wanted to put up to put it up there just so you can have um, something to watch to hold you over. Today is Thursday, so I will do my Superstars review later on. I probably won't be on till after midnight. And then tomorrow I will do my TNA review for all my TNA fans and my SmackDown review. Over the weekend, I may do a Raw Predictions video. And then next week, I will do the Raw review. TNA Superstar Smackdown review. I'm trying to get back on my normal schedule, but I'm just pinning up this video so my subscribers can have something to watch. Because I haven't posted a video in over a month. So, I did my Smackdown review um, earlier, so if you want something to watch, you can check that out. And this is WWE Raw from Las Vegas, episode 999. Next week is the 1,000 episode of Raw. It's going to be three hours. After that, every Raw from then on will be three hours. The Rock will be there. The DX reunion. I'm thinking Edge will be there. I mean, that's a Raw you don't want to miss. AJ and Dan Bryan will get married. Which, that happened all for the ratings. Because this Dane Bryan and AJ's love triangle storyline happened on SmackDown and somehow it crossed over to Raw with CM Punk and Kane. And it's been getting a, lo a lot of attention from the fans. So that's been one of the main storylines going on. Besides the big show going crazy and John Cena and whatnot. That's the big storyline. There's a lot of triangle going on. And it's just done for ratings. They get engaged. And then next week they get married. I mean, it was a publicity stunt. All, how many months have we, for like the past two months, three months, we've watched AJ go from Kane to CM Punk to Dan Bryan to end up with Dan Bryan at the end again? It's just a publicity stunt. It's something almost like when Kane and Lita got married. I want to say that was back in, what, 2003 or something? I don't know. It was a long time ago. Um, I, she probably will get divorced the next week or the week after that. It's just a publicity stunt to get people to watch the show. But the show was in Las Vegas. It opened with seeing to be covered. Went in the money in the bank for Raw. Which wasn't a surprise. I mean, come on. We all knew John Cena was going to win. I had nothing against John Cena. I just don't like him. He has accomplished a lot. I just think he has... He's overrated. I mean, he's been a champion. A WWE champion 10 plus times. I think it's time to get somebody else the spotlight, you know? We all knew he's going to win the money in the bank. I mean, what can you say? I mean, he's that guy, but I just think he did get a good push from the WWE. But I think it's time to get some other people a push, like Sin Cara. But who else could have ever push? Like Justin Gabriel, Zack Ryder. Anybody else who hasn't really had a push? Prime time, they're good. They could deserve a bigger push. They, they, they're not those superstars anymore, so that's good. But John Cena, is just all about John Cena. We all knew he was going to win. Then he's going to get the belt for, what, the 11th time? Some people haven't even held the WWE champion one time. He had it 11 times. I think there's something crazy about that. And CM Punk retains his... 
W, um, as you will know, he retained the WWE Championship in a triple threat versus Kane and Dan Bryan. Then the Big Show comes out and talks about how he's mad he didn't win the Money in the Bank match, which we all knew wasn't going to happen. Rack. Like I said, The Rock will be on Raw for the ratings. Then we have a the, the official match of the night was tag team action. It was Kofi Kingston and Truth versus Prime Time. Prime Time is a good tag team. They're eighty percent ready to be the WWE champions. They need to work twenty percent more on their wrestling abilities, and they'll be fine. But they could be the next tag team champions. They work pretty good together. Oh, excuse me. I would say they just need a new manager. AW isn't really doing too good for them. As you can see, he didn't really do nothing for Primo Epico. So I, I don't really know what's the whole point of this guy being on the show. But Kofi and Truth, they were able to win. They still have the title. Like I said, next week will be a DX reunion. Then they show a video of AJ and... Dan Bryan talking backstage. Then Eve comes out and says that she's getting her revenge. Since the last week on Brawl, Dan Bryan didn't accept her tag. So later on, Eve and her, whoever she chooses, will face Dan Bryan and AJ later on. That's the match set up for later on that night. Um, and then they talk about Tout. T-O-U-T. It's some type of social networking thing. They showed tweets from John Cena Post that I haven't checked it out. I'll probably check it out after I do this video. I have no idea what how it is. It's some new video social social working thing. Social network thing. I don't know. Then we have Ryder versus Zack Ryder versus Del Rio. It's nice to see Ryder or Raw. Smackdown. He's a talented kid. He just. I don't know. He has the fan base. Like I said, in every one of my videos, he has the fan base. He just. His wrestling skills aren't all the way there. He needs to work on that. Um, and then Dario was able to win the match. He dominated Zack Ryder during like, the whole match. And then out of nowhere. The unexpected, the unexpected, the unexpected, the 619 returns the Raw. I'm happy Rey Mysterio is back. I'm real happy because you know why? I want to see Sin Cara versus Rey Mysterio go against each other. We had a glimpse. We had like a 5, 10 second glimpse like a year ago, but we couldn't because... The Miz, it was a battle royal where uh, Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara in the match, but the Miz eliminated Sin Cara. So I'm just thinking about the fight, but I want to see Sin Cara versus Rey Mysterio. That's going to be a, like, that's like a WrestleMania type match right there, but they should do that on a, at the 1000th episode of Raw. They do that, uh, <laughs> well, you know what? Sin Cara is a really a SmackDown superstar, but I would like to see Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara tag team against each other. That's something I would see. They could give R-Truth and Kofi Kingston a run for their money. Or I would like to see Sin Cara and Hunico as tag team champions. I don't like Hunico as much as this character he's playing now, but when he used to black Sin Cara, he was pretty good. So both of them Put their skills together, they could be a good tag team. We'll have to see, but I'm glad Rey Mysterio is back. Um, then Rakishi, you know, come on. This is like the best Raw ever. I haven't seen Rakishi, what? I want to say since 2001. That was a long, long time ago. I keep forgetting that the Usos are his son, but that was like, even if the show ended after that, I would have been happy. I mean, it was Rakishi versus Slater, and it was just, of course, Rakishi won. He didn't really do anything, just hit him around, did the sting face, but 
the dash at the end of the match. Now that that made me give Raw a ten out of ten because it was just awesome. The lights cut out and then the Usos come out of nowhere, and then it was just awesome. I mean, I like that. <laughs> it it was best. I mean, for as big as Rocky she is, he had some skills. Now his son seemed to break on his sons on the other hand, but it was still good. I liked it that. I mean, he gave Brothers Clay. Now, this is what we should do for the thousand episode of Raw. Have Brothers Clay versus Rakishi. They have a dance off in the middle of the ring. Come on. Now, that's ratings right there. <laughs> and then we have Brian and AJ, the tag team match versus Eve and the Miz. With the help of Dan Brian, AJ was able to pin Eve. At the end of the match, Dan Bryan tells AJ that he loves her. I'm sorry I keep looking down because I'm looking at my paper right here. I wrote everything down. Um, he proposes to a AJ. She says yes. And they're getting married next week. So it was all a publicity stunt. It was all a staged. I mean, we just have to see what happens next week. They may not even really get married next week. Because he and Puck and Kane could come out and interrupt it. But they're getting married next week on a three hour row. I'm excited to see this three hour row. The Rock, DX, Edge. Even though I don't like Dan Bryan. They're getting married next week. You have to see how that plays out. Then Swagger versus Ryback. Now I see Swagger doesn't have Vicky with him no more. It's like Vicky has dropped Swagger and now she's all focused on Ziggler. He went against Ryback. At least Ryback is facing real opponents and he's not facing guys he pulled out the audience off the street. Of course Ryback dominated the match and he won. But like I said in my SmackDown review, I want to see Ryback face real opponents like Sheamus, CM Punk, Kane, The Big Show, Brothers Clay. Face people like that. Give him some real. He has superstars, but not people that have been on. He's facing real opponents, but not people that have been on superstars. Like real talented people like John Cena. Then Vicky comes out. Okay, Swagger. Okay, I wrote something down. I was right here in the dark. Well, yeah, Swagger needs a push, like I was saying. So, where does this Chris Jericho come from? Swagger versus Rabbit. Chris Jericho was on the Raw, but I wrote it down. Ziggler. It was Ziggler versus Chris Jericho. I'm thinking, I don't know, I wrote something down, but I can't remember what it was. I know Jericho did a code breaker. I think I wrote Ziggler day. I think I wrote Swagger name down. It should have been Ziggler name, but I wrote Swagger down. That's why I got confused. So Ziggler won the match. He's, he has the push. He wanted money in the bank. It's good. Maybe he will beat, he could beat Sheamus. I don't know. I just can't see him beat Sheamus by himself. With the help of Vicky or with the help of Swagger, he can win. But by himself, I just don't see that happen. Last Sheamus was injured. He beats Jericho. And then we have Brothers Clay versus JTG. I'm glad to see JTG now on Superstars, but why is he still in the contract? He isn't really doing anything. He needs a push. Without, what, what's that big tall dude, Shad? That used to be Crime Time. Now we have Prime Time. Hmm, Crime Time, Prime Time. I just noticed that. JTD, I don't know what he's doing, really. But Brothers Clay destroyed him. Bring back John Morrison. That's who I want to see. Then we have Punk versus The Big Show. It was the main event. It was about 15 minutes long. Punk was able to win the match. 
V because the Big Show got disqualified for pushing the referee. And John Cena comes out with the running with the um, briefcase in his hand, pretending like he's going to cash it in. We all knew he wasn't going to cash it in, but he announces that next week he's going to cash it in on CM Punk at the Dallas episode of Raw because Punk has been the WWE champion for 239 days. And the Big Show the whole time was just on persuaded um, John Cena to cash the belt in because Punk was down out. He could have he could have won the belt right there, but. It was all for ratings. They're doing a the match next week. John Cena will cash it in. And the Big Show is on the top of the apron telling him to cash it in. So John Cena takes the briefcase and knocks it right over the Big Show head and knocks him down. I saw that coming from a mile away. The show goes off. I gave the show a 10 out of 10. That's probably the first time I gave Raw a 10 out of 10. Only because of Rakishi being on there and they're dancing. But I was happy. It was a good episode of Raw. So if you like this video, you, you have to you can like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Um, leave a comment, feelings. Um, make sure you check out my channel. Make sure you subscribe. I'll be doing more videos later on this week. I'm trying to get back into the groove of doing YouTube. So until I see you next time.